Hello, today I will show you how to synthesize these zinc sulfide powders that glow under UV light. I first started the synthesis by finding a source of zinc. I used paint with copper layer going it off. I then poured 50 ml of hydrochloric acid into an Erlenmeyer flask, and to that I added another 50 ml of water. I then add the pennies into the solution. I then heat the solution in order to speed up the reaction. What is happening here is that the zinc is reacting with hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. You are going to want excess of zinc metal to make sure all the acid is used up. The amounts do not need to be specific. Take the reaction off heating and allow it to cool. We are now going to filter the penny though. Once the reaction has finished, we are now going to allow the solution to evaporate to leave behind crystals. Make a solution of zinc chloride. We are now going to electrolyze the solution with a DC power supply. My anode is a thin wire of platinum metal. You can use carbon, but it might create particles in the solution, which will be difficult to separate from the zinc metal. The electrode must also be able to handle exposure to chlorine gas. The cathode is simply a carbon rod. Once the power is applied, you will see bubbles on both electrodes. The anode is producing toxic chlorine gas, while the cathode is producing hydrogen gas and zinc metal. You might want to do this outside. After some time, you will see the zinc metal deposits onto the carbon electrode. You might want to agitate the solution because once enough zinc is deposited onto the electrode, the production seems to slow down a lot. After an hour, I removed the electrodes and filtered the solution. After drying the filtrate, we have extremely fine zinc metal powder. To make the zinc sulfide, first we need to mix 1 gram of zinc metal with half a gram of sulfur. Now we simply light the mixture on fire in order to bond the sulfur with the zinc metal. Now if we shine a UV light on the mixture, we can see it exhibits a property called phosphorescence, which is similar to fluorescence, but if I turn off the UV light, you can see the mixture still glows for a short amount of time. This concludes my synthesis of zinc sulfide. Please wait, comment, subscribe, any support is greatly appreciated.